Hey, Manny Bash, 17th February 2019, and the Vatican. This is just what was put before me today. And it's like beating a dead horse, but at the same time, there are still many people who do not understand the depths of the deception that they're experiencing. And the Vatican is just like one of the lead players to bring in this new world religion, this new world order, this understanding of a one universal God that accepts all types and all people. Okay, and he's out asking for prayers for the sex abuse summit that they're having at the Vatican. As he giggles away, okay, and they're having their little meeting in their Vatican audience hall with their transmutation death Jesus, Bite all the little kids into their little serpent head, okay, fangs and all. It's just nuts, okay? So he's addressing people and asking for prayers. But nowhere, and if you look around, you'll notice this. He's never asking people to pray for deliverance of these people, of these sex abusers, of these uh, gay uh, troubled priests and what have you. No, you never hear him asking for prayers of deliverance. Just pray for us that we can come up with another man-made plan to just pacify the people for a little while longer while we bring in our new religion, okay? And this is what's going on. And on the same day, okay, today, New York Times, big exclusive article. It is not a closet. It's a cage. Gay Catholic priests speak out. The crisis over sexuality in the Catholic Church goes beyond abuse. Well, why don't we address the abuse first and foremost? It goes to the heart of the priesthood. Of course it does. But now they're being trapped. Okay, do you understand what's happening here? These men, these priests, these abusers are now becoming the victims. Okay, these uh, mentally disabled people, because that's what this is. It is a disorder. It is a creature of the devil feeding on the lusts of the flesh. That's what the devil does. He owns your flesh. Okay? And this is a pretty extensive article. I will definitely link it. You can go through it. There's all kinds of ridiculousness in here. Some of these priests, they, they uh, say that it's up to 75% of priests are gay. A priest in Wisconsin said he assumed every priest was gay, unless he knew for a fact they're not. This Florida priest, he says a third, interesting, isn't it? A third are gay, a third are straight, and a third don't know what the hell they are. That's coming from a priest, okay? And not one mention in here, of prayer for deliverance. None. It's a joke. Then they throw things at you, ridiculousness, like studies repeatedly find, which they do not show any studies, that there are no connection between being gay and abusing children in the clergy? Seriously? See, this is what's happening. What, what's becoming of this, and I'm telling you, this is what it's building up to, is to shame people into accepting the homosexuality as people just being who they are, as God made them. Do you understand? This is how God made me. I can't change it. No, the devil made you gay because you are lusting after things of the flesh. And this goes right back to Romans, which I just happened to be reading yesterday. God's wrath on the unrighteousness, okay? The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. Okay, so they know God. It's been showed to them so that they are not without. There's no excuse because that when they knew God, okay, these are priests. This is the Pope. They glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. So who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them to vile affections, 
For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Okay? Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. And that is what you're seeing everywhere. The poor victim gay people, the poor victim LGBT people. I suppose that this eight-year-old child is a victim of discrimination, right? He's not even old enough to reason. Not even old enough to bat mitzvah. Are you kidding me? And they're saying that this kid has the rationality to make decisions on his sexuality? and give him a new website? Look what Desmond says in his bio. This is very, very important. He claims that he came out of the closet when he was born. You understand me? This is the new creature right there. You can look at it right in, in so many places. I peck out shows the church being destroyed and the new creature emerging, birthed. This this thing is literally birthed. You see that? That is a birthing as the church crumbles. That's what this is all about. I'm just telling you. It's out with the old, in with the new. And they don't care if you uh, reject it. Look at even this video. This is Good Morning America parading this kid around. We should watch a little bit of this. They are just glorifying absolute insanity and reprobate people. It's insane, but it's here, and you're not going to stop it. What you need to do is turn to Christ. He's the one that's going to clean up the mess. We just have to trust in him and let his spirit guide us to what he wills for us to do. You understand? His commandments are written on our heart. And that the Holy Spirit's continuously writing these things on our heart as for God's will for us. And we need to follow that because this stuff is not going to be stopped. They are under a trap. They are literally snared in the snares of the devil. He takes them at their will because they are serving him, the flesh. They have not tapped into or understood their spiritual side that needs to repent from the flesh, turn from it, change your ways, and you will see the kingdom of God. This world is not for us. It's just not, and it will pass away. But this is just amazing stuff, that the Pope is out asking for prayers, for the summit. You know, when this Pope was uh, picked, this is amazing. First uh, Jesuit to be a Pope, ever. That's that's a big deal. First from South America in a thousand years. He was chosen on March 13th, 2013. 3, 13, 13. You see what I'm saying? He was 76 years old. 13. And when the smoke issued from the Sistine Chapel, that means that the dragon made his choice because that's what the Sistine Chapel is. This is where the cardinals and whatnot vote the new pope, the Sistine Chapel. That is the final judgment. It is the dragon. The dragon. That's what it is, you guys. This, but if you don't see it, then you don't see it. The eye, the eye, the nose. Right where Lucifer's coming in, through the arch. And that is what's over the flesh. I hope, I hope, hope, hope you understand what I'm saying here. There's his meeting hall. Just insanity, people. There's the dragon. And that's where the Pope was voted in. In 2013. On 313, of course. At 76 years old. 
It's just insane, you guys. It is completely and utterly insane. And it's all playing out is the point. This is the new norm. And no matter how many people, no matter how many people reject this, it is coming, it is here, and look at this. 475,000 views, 1,000 thumbs up, and 24,000 thumbs down. But they just proudly keep marching on, and you'll never hear a peep out of the Pope about praying for deliverance of these people. It, it's just not happening, and it's not going to happen, because this is the plan. This is what they're doing, and you need Jesus Christ. It's the only way that you'll ever, ever escape this darkness. Period. So seek it now. <laughs> There's so much more to this. Every time I tap into one of these things, I see like a hundred other different things. They're meeting in the... I don't know if you guys ever watched the uh, the show South Park. I used to watch it when I was still uh, serving the flesh. I thought it was a riot. But they did one thing on the Vatican that is so true. So true. The spider... The Vatican rules cannot be changed, so saith the spider. The Vatican rules cannot be changed, so saith the spider. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's like gallows humor. But this is real. It's not going away. What these people need, what the world needs, is solid, hardcore deliverance, prayer, and intercession. That's what the world needs. People need to come to Christ and they need to come now because the wrath of God is about to come down on this world. It just is. God shows everything. He shows his wrath on unrighteousness and people want to just give in to the flesh instead. I don't know what else to say about this stuff anymore. I pray for them all. That's all I can do. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 